Hey crafters, welcome back to Handiworks, ready to dive into the wonderful world of pattern transfer methods. We're going beyond the basics today, exploring all sorts of techniques to get those beautiful embroidery designs onto your fabric. Before we get into tracing, remember freehand embroidery. Draw your own designs right on the fabric or use a ruler, circle template or drawing grids to get started. Lots of embroidery, especially sashiko, works great without a pattern. So get creative! Many embroidery flowers can be stitched without a transferred pattern and most sashiko stitching relies on drawn grids rather than traced designs. So embrace your inner artist and see what you can create without a pattern. Remember, the best method depends on your design and your fabric. So let's get started. Number one, direct trace. Let me share the easiest transfer method of all. With light fabrics, you can skip the fancy tools. Just print your design and trace it onto your fabric using a pen or pencil. Then, stitch away. Next, we have my personal favorite, the light box method. I just love how versatile it is. It works beautifully for lighter colored fabrics, but you can even use it with some darker fabrics, especially if you have a good light source. Simply place your pattern on the light box, secure your fabric on top and trace those lines. I'm using a heat erasable pen here, which shows up nicely on both light and dark fabrics. Just make sure it disappears completely with a touch of heat. If you don't have a dedicated light box, don't worry. You can use your phone's flashlight, a small LED light or tape your pattern to a window and let the sun do the work. Number three, carbon paper. This old school technique is still a favorite for a reason. Place your carbon paper between your fabric and pattern. Then use a tracing wheel or a stylus to transfer the design. This method is especially handy for darker or thicker fabrics where a light box wouldn't be much help. Always test your carbon paper on a scrap piece of fabric first to make sure it doesn't leave any unwanted marks. And remember, a gentle touch is all you need. Number four, printable sticky stabilizer. Now for a more modern approach, printable sticky stabilizer. This stuff is amazing. You print your design directly onto the stabilizer. It has a special surface that works just like paper in your printer. Then peel off the backing and stick it right onto your fabric. No tracing needed. It's perfect for intricate designs or when you need super accurate placement. This sticky stabilizer is a dream because it holds your design securely in place while you stitch, but it won't leave any sticky residue on your needle. It acts as a stabilizer, preventing your fabric from puckering or stretching, a lifesaver for thicker or textured fabrics. When you're finished stitching, just rinse the stabilizer away with cool water. It dissolves like magic, leaving you with a clean, beautifully embroidered piece. Number five, tissue paper methods. This method is great for those who like a bit of a freehand approach. Trace your design onto some tissue paper. Any kind will do. Pin it to your fabric and you're ready to go. Use a contrasting thread to stitch a simple running stitch along the outline of your design. This creates a temporary guide for your embroidery. Hey 
Here's another variation. Trace your pattern onto a piece of pattern tracing fabric. I like to use a soft embroidery stabilizer fabric. Then place it on top of your fabric and trace the design with a heat erasable pen or a water soluble pen. This gives you a more stable guide to work with, especially for detailed designs. There are a few other methods you can try too, like iron-on transfer pens or stencils. These are great for simple designs or for adding lettering to your embroidery. Now go forth and create some embroidery magic. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share your beautiful creations with me in the comments. Happy stitching!